Praise the Lord. I want you to take a moment and look at this video and listen to me. What you're looking at right now is two seas or ocean, which I will say a sea is one sea, but it's kind of divided into two and it has two colors and they end at a particular place that the voice of the Lord had commanded. And these two seas, if I should put it that way, they never mix. They never mix with each other. Every one of them knows where they have to end by the commandment of God. This is the Gulf of the Alaska, the Gulf of Alaska. This sea never mix. Look at the colors, this color and that color. They never mix. I'm trying to let you understand one thing that we serve an awesome God who has never created an error. We serve a powerful God. The God we serve is a great and a big God. At the mention of the name of Jesus, who is God on this earth, the Bible says every knee bows. He was with him when the world was being created. The wind obeys him. The wind obey his voice. The seas obey his voice. He created it that way that at the sound of my voice end at this particular place. So that is where and that is exactly where it ends. The Bible says in Isaiah 42 verse 5, this is what God the Lord says, the creator of the heavens, who stretches them out, who spreads out the earth with all that springs from it, who gives breath to its people and life to those who walk on it. And Psalm 146 verse 6 also says, He is the maker of heaven and earth, the sea and everything in them. He remains faithful forever. Psalm 95 verse 5 also says, The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands formed the dry land. My God, when you look at creation, lifting up your eyes onto the hills, lifting up your eyes onto the clouds, the sky, looking how beautiful and awesome they look, it's mind-blowing, I don't know, if you've ever taken a moment to think about the creation of God. How he has set the stars in the atmosphere that can never fall. The galaxies have been set up. The rivers, the clouds, day and night, summer, spring, winter, how God has set things in place. Ladies and gentlemen, I did this video for you to take a moment to think about the awesome of God. If God was able to create all these things for mankind's use and enjoyment, think about it. He thought of you. He thought of you to have put this in place for you to enjoy it and for you to be satisfied here on this earth. God thought of you. God was thinking about you during creation time. And I want you to acknowledge the fact that He is God and forever shall He be God. God bless you for taking your time to listen to me. Shalom.